In this video, we're going to go over spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis is the process of forming the sperm, the male gamete cell. This process starts at puberty and continues until the male dies. So this is different from females where the female process is much more limited and does not happen continuously from puberty to death. The process of forming sperm requires temperatures lower than body temperatures. That's why the scrotum in the testicles is not located directly inside the body. And the scrotum also has the ability to rise or drop depending on the temperature. And the second requirement is that spermatogenesis requires high concentrations of testosterone. Now, spermatogenesis, as we've discussed, occurs in the testes. The testes contain several types of cells. First of all, there are the seminiferous tubules, which makes up the majority of the testes. The seminiferous tubules, their walls are made of Sertoli cells. Sertoli cells secrete androgen binding protein, which binds testosterone. So this androgen binding protein essentially has the function of concentrating the testosterone to high levels necessary for spermatogenesis. There are also Leydig cells, which are also called the interstitial cells. They aren't part of the seminiferous tubules, but they're essentially scattered in between them. These Leydig cells secrete the testosterone that the androgen binding protein is binding to. And finally, we have spermatogonia. These are stem cells that are precursors to sperm, and they are consistently renewed in males to allow for spermatogenesis throughout the entire duration of the male's life, starting from puberty. So over here, we can look at the different cells. So to start off, at the top, we're going to have spermatogonia. And in this case, we're going to call it a spermatogonium because that's singular. So if you have a single spermatogonium, it's going to go ahead and undergo mitosis. And when it undergoes mitosis, it's going to go ahead and form two identical cells. Now these cells are going to produce different results. So this one on the left, this one is going to continue as spermatogonium in order to replenish the supply of stem cells. So this will essentially go backwards and be able to continue this process of dividing to form more and more spermatogonium. This cell over here, the other cell from, formed from mitosis, is going to be the primary spermatocyte. The primary spermatocyte is going to go through molecular processes that commits it to go through meiosis. So when it completes meiosis one, we're going to form two haploid cells. Right, notice that mitosis forms identical diploid cells. Meiosis one involves the segregation of the homologous chromosomes. So each of these daughter cells no longer has chromosomes from both the father and the mother. It only has one copy of each homologous chromosome. After meiosis one, these haploid cells are called secondary spermatocytes. The secondary spermatocytes will undergo the second round of meiosis, meiosis two, and in meiosis two, the sister chromatids are separated. So the ploidy does not change. It goes from haploid to haploid, but the sister chromatids have been separated. Now, after meiosis two has occurred, these four resulting daughter cells are called spermatids. Spermatid refers to the fact that these cells are immature sperm cells. So they're not fully mature. For instance, they're not motile. They can't move. So these spermatids will enter the epididymis, and within the epididymis, they'll undergo a maturation process. So here we're just going to say that you're going to have maturation, and this occurs in the epididymis. And once the sperm have matured, the adult matured forms are called spermatozoon. So that's singular, so the plural for spermatozoon is spermatozoa. 
So we often talk about the epididymis as storing spermatozoa, which are the mature forms of sperm that can impregnate females. Okay, so this is a process of spermatogenesis describing the key processes involved as well as looking at how meiosis and mitosis are involved in the production of sperm.